I would have not imagined that a terror regime would kidnap my dad. I just saw my dad in the hands of the enemies. I didn't know how he got there. I didn't know if he was alive. The Islamic regime uh, was looking for him because uh, that's what the regime does. They look for people who give the people in Iran a voice. They try to hunt them down. They try to intimidate them. And if they're not successful at that, they try to personally attack them. So that happens to my dad. He is a software engineer by, by trade, and he designed a website for a satellite uh, a TV station that opened it up for the people in Iran. They could come on there uncensored, write all of the articles, write about all the human rights abuses, write about what they're doing over there. And my dad would report about everything that's on the website. On state TV in Iran, they would portray him as a terrorist, as a criminal, as a spy of FBI, CIA, Mossad, and all of those things, just to destroy his name. What happened in 2020 is my dad was on a business trip. He was traveling from Frankfurt in Germany to India, and he had a flight overlay in Dubai, and his flight got canceled, and he was stuck in a hotel there. My dad talked to my mother when he got stuck in, in Dubai, so that's when she even found out that he was there. After that, my dad would not react to any phone calls, to any messages, to nothing from us. On the Google tracker, my mom could see that my dad's location is moving and not towards India where he was supposed to go. It was moving down towards Oman. After that, uh, we saw a video by the Islamic regime where they show my dad, he's, he's blindfolded, and he has a swollen face and he is stating false, forced confession. That's when we knew the Islamic regime took my dad and they're gonna kill him. After two months, my mom got the first phone call from my dad and we would find out that he had lost rapidly uh, 40 pounds of weight. Uh, he had lost his teeth and he couldn't tell his wife. He was in complete isolation, so there's no human beings and he was starting to talk to himself. They are torturing him. They are putting him through show trials uh, to make him look like a criminal. It's not a real verdict, like in a real courtroom. They told us in advance that they are charging him with corruption on earth, the vague charge that they're putting on all the people who are demonstrating right now on the street. And uh, the, the penalty for that is the death sentence. So they're threatening us right now with execution, to execute my dad. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's like you wake up in a movie. It's, it's absolutely surreal. It's, in my wildest dreams, I would have not imagined that a terror regime would kidnap my dad and that I would ever need to be in this situation to, to do whatever I can to, to save my dad's life. I understand so much more about the world. I understand why my dad was doing what he was doing because I always naively asked him, why are you doing this? Why are you putting your dad life and our life at danger? And he said, if I don't do it, who will? It is so hard to get your voice out there and you feel it is impossible, but you have to still keep on going because that's the only thing you can do.